So this is going to be the roundabout. That should be interesting. I'll help you with lane guidance. Okay. Let's see how well uh, the lane guidance is. Let's see if it's got it written on the road early enough for you to know. We're mm -hmm. going to go M25. Which way would that be? Should be towards M11. I'd say it's like north or west. But what it will say, I don't know. We'll see. It's sort of northwest. So indicate left to leave. Now I'm going past the 100 yard marker. I advise you to leave a bit late. So stay on this road for a bit longer. Okay. Yeah, because I know you need the right lane, but it's not telling you. No way of knowing that. See what the lorry is? Yeah. Follow the lorry. Okay. So let's check our left mirror again yeah. as you leave. Start slowing down. Cancel the signal now. Yeah, M25 north, N for north. So you need the lane for M25N. It did say there's no signs telling you. There's just one road marking so far mm -hmm. so from that road marking you have from here to the roundabout yeah. to try and change lane if you didn't know but if you're going right on the sat nav it's probably going to be the right lane yep. if you're going left on the sat nav stay to the left that's a good clue you see there it says m25s and the lorry is on top of m25n for north mm -hmm. and it's m25n on the right there as well you can probably turn the wipers off now it doesn't appear to be raining anymore so these are traffic light controlled well it's a traffic light controlled roundabout it's a spiral roundabout. So we stay in third lane here. For now. And then. But you will be making your way gradually to the left. Right. Usually as you pass an exit. Try and stay in your lane now. No, there's no lines, but it should be yeah. a space for a car next to you on your side yeah. and my side. Two cars on my side, actually. So that lorry on my left, which you can't see on camera, that's going to leave. Then we become the middle. So we've gone from lane three to two. Yep. Look at the traffic lights. Mm -hmm. Slow down a little bit. Yep. Break. You want to be ready for the lights there. Clutch down so it doesn't stall. You already are. Yeah, yeah. Didn't see you put that down. Sneaky. <laughs> so as we pass the next exit, we're probably going to need the left lane. That's the way it works. It says there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That yellow sign. Yeah. That's a temporary sign. And that's how it works. You start on the right and gradually move away to the left because the left lane is where you leave. But the cars on your left may try and come round with you mm. and not allow you to change. So right. we'll see. Got to be ready for that. Try and keep with the flow of traffic. If you're slow, everyone will try and overtake you. Okay. Here we go, it's green. So keep with the flow of traffic. Now stay in the middle, up to second. You don't signal right when you go around these roundabouts, you signal to change lane. So signal to change the left lane now. Is it safe too? Yep. Good, excellent. And let's be careful here, you can't see too far past the lorry. It could be a queue at the traffic lights. Looks like you're first in line. And it says on the slip road, the uh, road closes. Did you see that? Mm -hmm. It usually is two lanes on this slip road, but it's one at the moment. So carry on. Bear in mind the lane on your side might also be trying to leave. Indicate the say you're leaving. And you're good. Yeah, they're staying behind. And, oh, what have we entered here? A lot of traffic. Aha. Welcome to the M25. <laughs> so 300 yards, that's what the free lines mean. You count down time, you see that? Yep. 200. Start signaling now just to warn people you're going to leave. Good that you started slowing down as you started catching the van, but don't slow down too much. We're going to go right at the roundabout according to the sat nav. So what lane? Right. Okay, so try to leave late. You see now oh. you're sort of leaving in the left lane? Yeah. That's it. Good. Don't go back to the right, just stay here. And now you've got the roundabout sign, haven't you? Mm -hmm. So you've got to come off the power, traffic light sign, see that? Yep. Start letting it slow down gradually. It's A414, the sat nav says we're going, Kane's Lane. Let's see if we can follow the signs to take us there. A414, good, we've got good road markings there, brake, focus on the brake more than the gears here. Mm -hmm. Those gears aren't doing anything for you, are you? Are they? You're not lifting no, the no. clutch, but what it was doing is distracting you from braking. Should have chose second gear if you wanted to go down a gear there. Okay. So you'd actually be able to lift the clutch. So what exit would that be? You can't think about that right now. Oh, let's just right. try it. Let's try and follow the road signs. Okay. Think about what you're doing now. So we need to signal? To right. No, no, not in these big roundabouts. Okay. Signal to change lane. <clears throat> right. So you see A1414. Mm -hmm. A1414. A414. A414, yeah. So there's two lanes for A414. Yeah. I'm guessing we need lane right because there's two up. Oh, good. Yeah, we need the Chelmsford one, I think. See? So, right. Out of three lanes on that green sign, it is the right lane, yeah. Yeah. 
Could be wrong though. We'll see. It says there A414. Yeah, so yeah, I'm right. We're going the other way on the A414. So read the road markings. Bear in mind, you probably will have to change the left lane soon. You've got the traffic light sign, so be ready. Just round this bend. It could be lights, don't go too fast. Be ready for the lights, where are they? Good, now move to the, actually stay here for now. Say when to ignore the lights. No. Good. So when you can, I think you should move to the left lane. That's it. Good, A414 Chelmsford, you got it. See, it says on the road as well. Mm -hmm. And then slow down for those lights. Yep. That's good. And that's how these roundabouts work. It's about yeah. following. If you're thinking, what exit do I take? Your brain's in the wrong place. Right. You got to know the number, the road number, okay. on the sign on the road. Look at your sat-nav, it tells you A414. It wasn't good though, it didn't tell you which one, did it? Mm -mm. It's only because I know roughly where we're going that <laughs> I knew. So now signal left to leave. But usually it's not that confusing that you got two the same. Try not to be in that left lane, they see not in your lines. Yep. That's the leaving lane. So 0 0.7 of a mile away from the next roundabout is to join the M11. Mm -hmm. Can you see what it says on the sat nav there? Yep. What's it say there? London 20, M25. So that's what you've got to go towards. Do you think you can handle it? I'll try my best. Okay, see what you do then. So you're going towards the M11, London, M25. You've got the sign there. You've got the traffic light sign hidden behind the bush. Right. So you know there'll be lights, traffic light controlled roundabout. Can you see where you've got to go on the sign now? Uh, that was too much. Slow down. Right. Give yourself more time to process the information. What lane do you think? when it becomes more lanes. Left. Good, because it is left Was it the first exit? It was. Right, that was so confusing for me. It's a lot of information to take in, isn't there? Yeah. You do get used to reading those signs with practice though. Because there were so many like areas to look at. I was like, are we down here and then it goes well, left? Well, in here it was left, so I was looking near the bottom. Right. Looking at the left. So should you signal? Yep. Yeah. If you're leaving, it's a good idea, but if you're changing lane. So indicate until you have left. How many lanes? Two. Okay. So look at the green bit on the sat nav. Where is it telling you to go? Uh, left lane. Yeah. What else is it saying? A10. A10. And what are the words, the, the names of the places? London North. Yep. London Enfield, Enfield. Hartford. So that's what you're looking for on the signs now, to know which lane you need. Right. That's how you know what to do. Turn the wipers off probably. There you go, it says A10. I know you can't see it on camera because it looks so much further away, but I can read that clearly. London, Enfield, Hartford. And that's what it says here, isn't it? Yeah. So you've got the good lane. So glance at the sat nav, have an idea of what you're doing. It's not a roundabout. We don't know yet. So this broken line on your right means the road leaves, so you shouldn't need to signal left, just stay with it. Okay. But I know you're going right when you get up there, so stay to the right. You see it the hey, roundabout? Yeah, look. oh right. It says right there, you can see that now. Yeah. That'll help you. So now it says, what does it say on the green bit now? Uh, Cambridge. Great Cambridge Road, A10. Yep, A10. Doesn't say that here, does it? No. So slow down a little bit. Get your lower gears, is around about there. We are going A10 towards Hartford. Right. Sat nav, if it said that, it would be better, but it's not saying the same. The sat nav isn't saying the same as what the road markings are saying, mm -hmm. which is why it's hard to know. But you can see on the sat nav roughly what you've got to do, so use that as well. Yeah. You know you're going right, so I think, oh, right lane then. And hopefully when you get round, it makes more sense. Very good. Look at the white markings on the road to stay in your lane. Mm -hmm. You see this one on the left of me there? Yep. So try not to cross it, stay in yours. So it's A10 Hartford. Yep. Great Cambridge Road, I guess that is. That's, that's what it says here on the sat nav. Okay, 
now it looks like we needed to move over there. See that? So check your mirrors. Good idea the signal as well. It's red light, big braking. Yeah. So do you see how the lane on your left, left in there, it went over to the left, so you should yeah. follow that. See this lane on your left, follow yeah. that. Go follow it round. Don't go too much though. And now slow down. If you want to move over that line, do a lane change. Okay. Don't do it by accident. Uh -huh. Both these lanes look like they leave. And look at the blue on here as well. So you've got there. Signal there would also be helpful just to say you're leaving. Okay. Because you've got two options there, haven't you? Yeah. It's not obvious to people. So look at the sign where we're going. M25 West, Watford again, isn't it? Yep. So slow it down. Where is it at the roundabout? Left ahead or right? Uh, ahead. It's right. Oh, it is right. Yeah. So we need right lane. Probably. Probably. It's but fine. not yet. I might. Okay, you're going to ask. It's fine. Yeah. Are they letting you in? Yeah. Good. We'll let forwards as well. Very good. Well done. Well managed. You managed ahead and behind there. So. Cancel the signal, it's a big roundabout. Try and go towards M25 Watford. M25 Watford. Yeah. Yeah, it says W, slow down. That's it. You see, as soon as you take your off the road, <laughs> yeah, it's like you've got to be so, much to so look quick with your mirrors because the thing in front will change. See this left line? Follow the left line. See that? Yeah. But check your mirrors as you do that just in case. Okay. You see M25 Watford, they help them. Me. Because that's what happens with these spirals. The left lane sort of branches away and you've got to stay with it. Oh. Not always though. It's always a bit different. They do what they like. Mm -hmm. People who design the road pretty much do what they want and then you have to try and follow it. Right, so there's going to be this exit here, I believe. Looks like it, doesn't it? On the... Yeah. So you've got a combination of quite a few things. You've got the sat-nav helping you, you've got the road signs and markings. You roughly know which lane you just because on approach you'll see it's left or right on the roundabout. Yeah. That's good. Did Don't cut the corner, you're steering oh, too much. Oh, oh. Go yeah. around it, not across it. Yeah. There we go. So see the sign, a big sign? The north. Hatfield, A1. So you know where you roughly gotta so go. Like fifth exit or something. Read the road markings. It's A1 the north. A1M. Do you need the toilet? Because we've got South Mims here. I'm good. Yeah? Okay. So it's green. Stay in your lane. Don't cut across the corner there. Good. You start to get a bit close, but you're in. Still got the road markings telling you where to go. It says up there as well. Mm -hmm. it said lane three and four. I see you're staying with the line on the left. That'll spiral you around. See here? Let's help you out a little bit. See? Mm -hmm. Slide on the left. Check this mirror here. Didn't work that time, did it? Now we're in the wrong lane. Because mm -hmm. it was spiraling you around, maybe just the line had faded. Right. Because usually that happens. When the lines disappear and you just have that line on the left, if you stick with that line on the left, that gets you the leave. Mm -hmm. So actually we need, we do need lane three and we're in lane two. So we're going to just have to exit. Drive normally and if we can change lane, we will. Okay. So, if I was you, I would start asking to change lane because we don't want to go towards M25 Heathrow. Can you change? Got in. Not too fast, not too fast, just steady. There we go. And then cancel this. Yeah, it's good. Yep. Right, now you're in a good lane for it. Okay. And in third gear, too much on your mirrors there. I that wasn't sure if you was waiting. Me. Right. Move in front of them. Why weren't you sure? I'm not sure they're just steady on their speed. Yeah, they're helping you. They weren't passing you. They're not going to necessarily give you a red carpet. Right. They're holding back, giving you that space, move in front of them. Okay. So it's nice of them to do that. And you've got the North Hatfield again here, haven't you? Yeah. Just signal left, just to confirm it. It's really obviously leaving. You don't really need the signal out. And go around the curb, don't cut across it. And of course, this is likely going to be a slip road, isn't it? Yep, slip road. So, can you do this one, do you reckon? What does it say on the sign? A lot. So, mirrors signal through. left. You've got to leave, haven't you? You know you've got to leave, says so here, yeah. left lane. M25. Yep. 
he threw Watford a lot. It does, <laughs> doesn't it? one as well. Yeah, but look at this roundabout. Are you going left or right? Uh, left. So stay left. Yeah. And that's going to help you a lot now. It is saying everything. It's saying Heathrow, Watford, Stansted. That doesn't make sense to me because Heathrow and Watford are one way, mm-hmm. but Stansted's the other way. Yeah. yeah. But we are going left. We are going eastbound on the M25. I know that from just from geography. Is that a queue? Mm-hmm. Is it going to say M25E? It does look on the sign. See M25E. So having a good idea about geography, so, left lane. Oh, left lane. Yeah, yeah. First gear. Can you not see the sign? Mm, I did see the see sign, the but I couldn't see it. We're going left, aren't we? Yeah. Right. M25E. Okay. I was trying to get to these road markings as well. Can't see your signal. It's not helping anyone at the moment. Okay. So if you have a good idea about geography, where is Dartford? Where is Watford? Mm-hmm. Where is Birmingham? Mm-hmm. That can help you a lot on these roads. Airports as well. If you know roughly where the airports are, that helps too, because often the signs are towards airports. Right. I know Heathrow is on the that side. That's mm-hmm. the west side of the M25. Dartford's on the east side of the M25. So that helps me know which way I'm heading. Right. Stansted is north of the M25 on the M11. And then Gatwick is south. Mm-hmm. So is it the first exit? Yeah. No. Is it? It's not. Say when to go. Good, you didn't say go. You look on the sat nav, there's actually a little exit before your one, isn't there? Yeah, I see that now. But the sign does say, or the road marking does say, this is M25 Dartford. And it doesn't marry up. The sat nav is not marrying up with the signs, is it? It's saying mm. Stansted and Potter's Bar, but it does say Potter's Bar there, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so there you go, there's one. It seems as you get closer, it gets a bit more specific. Yeah. So it's not this first one no, no, no. on the sat nav. That's the services at South Mims. Yeah. It's this one here. Yeah, so now you can signal and keep it in between the lines, especially on this bend. Focus on the centre. Steer yeah. with your bum, not the nose. If you steer with your nose, you'll cut the corner. That's it. Steer where your bum is. Keep your bum in the middle, and then go. So there are some big spiral roundabouts that you get on motorways. If you know where you're going, they're fairly straightforward, but if you don't, they can be challenging. Domas did pass his test the day after we did that motorway tuition. If you found the video interesting, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're looking for car insurance, check out the links to Collingwood and Confused in the description. If you're looking for car insurance and want to insure yourself on somebody else's car, then Collingwood are there for you because you can do so without affecting your policy. And that can take away a big stress from the owner of that car that you're using to learn to drive. Via the link at the moment, there's up to 35% off and a 20 pound Amazon gift card. If you want to insure your own car, I recommend checking out the link to confuse.com because you fill out one quote form and get loads of quotes back from many insurers to compare who's cheapest. And you can change your car on that quote without having to do the whole quote again, meaning you can compare how much it costs to insure different cars quickly and easily. Handy if you're shopping around for cars. Using the links doesn't cost you anything, but it does support the channel, so thank you very much. Subscribe to get my future videos, and until the next one, cheerio.